Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESG and Ned. Welcome to Wolves TV as this is the Wolverton Hampton Wolves uh, career uh, manager Karimo with Luis Morales. As this is a quick look here at the Wolves right now as we uh, get ready for episode 33 and get ready for this game here back in the uh, Champions League. But we're going to take a quick look at some stats and of course I want to talk about some things with the team and right now the team has been playing pretty well right now uh, we're just uh, two points behind Manchester United uh, both teams have played 11 games uh, we're currently 9 and 2 and 0 oh. haven't lost a game yet but we've drawn twice as for Manchester United they've only drawn once and won 10 games so far here as they've been playing it very very well they've only given up six goals we've only given up nine of course, we scored one more than them. They uh, we scored 20, uh, 27 goals this season. They scored twenty six. Take a look down the line here. Of course, uh, Liverpool ran out the top five here, and then of course, looking down at the bottom three there: uh, Carford City, uh, Norwich, and of course, Der uh, Derby County. Um, some of the new teams that, uh, or at least two of the two two of the three new teams there. Having some trouble there, and they're in the relegation zone. And if you don't know what the relegation zone is, basically those three could be kicked out of the Premier League. And of course, whoever wins the Champions, um, uh, Champion One League down uh, the, the bottom, you know, the other, the next league that's you, before you come up to uh, the Premier League, uh, we'll have three new teams coming in. So there's always three new teams coming in, three teams coming out every year. Uh, but take a look at the quarterfinals here as we take a look here and see. Oh, we got a big game coming up in the quarterfinals of the Camaro Cup. It's against Man City. Now, we have not played Man City yet, I believe, in the season in the Premier League. So that's going to be a big game for us coming up. So we got a lot of big games coming up. Jeez. Uh, we're getting, and of course, you know, quarterfinals and, and that kind of stuff. It's just, we're going to start seeing those big teams come up. You know, a lot of the big European team, especially in the Champions League. I, this, of course, is our first year as the manager of, with Luis Morales in the Champions League, and I don't know what to really expect. I know there's going to be a lot of big teams like uh, Madrid and Real Madrid and all these other big, fancy, uh, top-tier, um, you know, Spanish and, uh, you know, Italian and, and, and German teams that are going to be in there. So, in uh, France, uh, for, you know, a lot of French teams there, too. So, um, yeah, we got our hands full coming up. Now, take a look here at some of the uh, numbers here for the stats when it comes to a lot of the players in the Premier League right now. And that's, I think, right now we're going to kind of focus in on right now because that's where that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for another chance to get to the Premier League title. And to do that, we're going to have to not necessarily run the table, but we're going to have to play very well, especially against Man U, Man City. Uh, Liverpool, and of course, if you had Chelsea and and and, and yeah, obviously you had to add Chelsea and probably and you, but and you'd say uh, the Spurs right now. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of you know we've been having issues with the defense. The defense has been having a lot, a lot of uh, crazy, weird defensive blunders here. Uh, but we, we just I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but we're going to get our line strengthened here. And once the uh, once we get to the month of January, obviously the winter transfer window will be open. And we're going to have to go in there. We may have to make some big changes. We might have to bring in some younger guys coming in to the, uh, to the club and get rid of some other players here because I want that, that the, I, I want our, I want it to be known as a very good defensive team. Our offense, I don't have to worry about that at all. They've, they've been doing what they've been doing. I'm more concerned about that back line and our midfield. Um, so I've been doing a lot of more drills with the uh, next wave of defensive players that we have. Uh, your right backs, your center backs, your left backs, uh, even your CDMs. Working with them you know, on a regular basis, rotating their, their training and stuff like that to get better and get more, you know, just athletic and more just be more defensive, be more stronger in the defensive setting because we cannot be having those blunders that we've had as of late. Giving the ball up in the box on the defensive side 
and letting them make easy scores there uh, or, or in, inbounds the ball. We've seen that happen many times there. And that's just not how we should be playing right now. Uh, thankfully enough, our defense, our offense has gotten us out of here. Uh, you know, uh, guys like Gibbs White, Den Docker, uh, Nevis, and of course, you know, uh, our, our wingers and obviously our strikers have been just really doing a great job of getting our you know, fangs out of fire, scoring those goals there. Now, one thing I will say, we haven't been scoring late goals like we have last season. We were, there was quite a few times there. Uh, especially towards the end of the season that we were scoring and getting, you know, having those near, you know, panic attacks where, you know, we're down by a goal. We had a few minutes left in the game and we scored a goal. We're not going through that again. Thank God. Hopefully that we don't go through that again. Um, you know, never say never, but we definitely don't want to go down that road again like we did last season. Um, so for the most part, we've been doing a great job. Now, as for our youth academy here, there's some of the players right now. We have our youth academy, Angus Sky, one of those other younger guys we have going for us uh, for a right winger. Uh, we got some CDMs, some wing, uh, left wings. Um, CDMs, I like uh, Wade Clark and Jay Cooper. Um, and then, of course, uh, Eric Frazier, uh, who is not young, not young enough or not old enough to play for us yet. He's only 15. Uh, but then you see some others. Archie Baker, Owen Brown, and Marcus Edwards. Those are the guys I'm really excited about uh, coming up and to the team. Uh, once we get some of these uh, players that we have either put on loan or we're, we sold uh, right now because we're not that we're you know we're outside the transfer window, but you can still um, you know you know still talk to other clubs. Uh, and, and set up things for the next, you know, when the, when the transfer window comes open. Once we get the uh, Jimenez and a couple other people out off the team and get them off our books, then we can bring up those three that I just mentioned there uh, and bring them up and then obviously have them in that back line. And like I said, by then they should be pretty well good enough to help us out. Uh, they can come in as, the, you know, the second string guys coming in there. Um, you know, play against, really give, give them an opportunity to play against the bottom tier, like, you know, some of your bottom three teams there, uh, your, you know, your teams from, you know, 11 on down to, you know, 11 to 20 teams uh, that's on the, on the, on the Premier League uh, there on the, when it comes to record-wise. So, like I said, that's going to be a really different for us, um, and I'm hoping that that'll get, we can get that going here very soon. Uh, I want to do it probably in the month of December to get that month, get that, you know, get a month head start. So by the time they get to January, it's just natural for them to be on the pitch uh, when they need to be on there. There you see some of the moves we've made so far here this season. So far, I'm pretty impressed with our moves that we've made. Like I said, Roddy, we've seen him against Huddersville. We beat them in the, in the uh, Cabrera Cup. And of course, now we're going to move on and face uh, Liverpool coming up there. Uh, I believe in, uh, in a couple episodes from now we'll see that. Uh, but then you see some other players there where we got, like I said, we got a lot of young players here. There's some of these 22, 23, 24 year olds uh, because by time they get to, I'm hoping by the time they get to that 24, 25 years of age, they are ready to go. They are primed and uh, they got that playing time they need, um, that year experience of being on the pitch uh, with these other clubs, uh, not just here, you know, in the lower tier. Uh, British teams, but also uh, in other parts of Europe and even in the U.S. I think we got one guy right now uh, in the, on um, LAFC right now. Uh, I believe James is on there. So a lot of talent, a lot of changes, a lot of moves, and uh, I, I think so far it's worked out for us for the most part here. So uh, I cannot wait till we get to this next uh, episode here. Like I said. Uh, we got we'll go on the road. We got a Champions League game again. We got that press conference. We'll check that out, and of course, uh, we'll try to see if we can beat this team again for the second time <laughs> in the Champions League. Remember, uh, Champions in the group round, you got to play everybody twice before you get out of the uh, group round. And I think we should be able to do that. We did really well against them last time around. Uh, we shouldn't having too much. I mean, it's. That old saying is it's hard to beat a team twice, but honestly, we should be in pretty good shape against this team. They did not put up a fight too much last time around, but I could be wrong. So, uh, 
But anyway, that's it for this episode of the Wolves TV. We'll talk more about the, um, I'm hoping in maybe the next Wolves uh, TV episode, uh, we can talk about more about these, uh, these youth academy players, what I wanted to try to do with them, talk about each, each one of them individually. And uh, like I said, those three, Archer, Baker, and Edwards, um, I, w- I really cannot wait to push, get them pushed there. Uh, to help us in the back line there on the right and left. Uh, I think all, each one of them can play center, so that really helps us out a lot. Uh, and I cannot wait for that to happen here. So that's it for this episode of the Wolves TV. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if you guys uh, have any ideas for some moves that we can make for the center, for the back positions, left, right, and center. Uh, if there's any names out there you guys think we should go after and let them be at least you know reasonable re- you know realistic even though we are the wolves we play in the premier league we do have a lot of money but i want to keep it in budget so <laughs> nothing too crazy uh something you know realistic wise and whatnot so let me know down below in the comment section com- comments section uh but that's it for me as always Thank you guys for watching. Again, thank you. Hit the, hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you got, if you guys are new. And check us out for more here of the Wolves franchise here on the channel. As always, keep yourselves healthy. And I will see you guys next time.